I've come to Pico to measure out for the bed. So I've got my wood, which has been cut nicely by B and Q, but there's still going to be a bit more cutting to do. So I'm just going to lay them flat and see what how it works. So I need. So that's the idea to have two pieces. Put a piano hinge through the middle so that I can lift that up and onto there, so the back seat can be pulled up and I can take passengers along with me. I'm going to build a frame for this section over here for this this bit to sit on and because it's on a piano hinge I can lift it up and access the storage underneath because you know we're all about storage maximizing the space. Sand down the uh, platform for the bed for Pico and stay in her as well. It's so nice to be out in the garden in the sun. <laughs> this cladding available so maybe I should make use of it it's um, the right width for the frame so maybe yeah I'll cut one up got an nail gun wow this, this is a game changer that <laughs> sort of like using the drill to screw it in just nail the fucker <gasps> oh my god it's so easy to reflux from it so you know someone who's weak as me can use this get it onto there press it down Ooh, easy as that and I didn't feel the reverb This is powerful and easy to use. It nails the joints together without having to hammer, screw in. It's a bloody game changer. It's obviously not mine. The frame is built. I know you're thinking, it's rather small, isn't it, for a bed? Aha, I'll show you why. But this machine has made me build that in literally in 10 minutes. So I've just made a 60 centimeter bed frame all the way around put this bit of wood on to bridge the gap back seat really want to build the frame out to here because once this passenger seats up it has to be rolled back and uh i don't i can make something individually or stuff something underneath there put the bed frame in which is here because the height differences are so uneven that it's not sitting flat. So I'm gonna put this panel on. I mean, I fucked up basically. <laughs> so I've got two bits of wood over here. Plop them underneath there, and then they go up. So the idea is done is two bits of long wood that extends right over to the top of the back seat. That sits on top, so there's a bit more support, so it's bridging that gap. And I've still got room for storage underneath here. So I'm going to staple gun that in, I think. I think that's the right position for it. These bridging bits of wood I am not going to nail down because I need to be able to remove them so I can put the back seat up. If I was clever enough, I'd probably put a free, um, a hinge, but I can't be bothered. This is only meant to be a weekend camper van. Here it is to put a piano hinge in there, so I can lift this top piece up, fold it over onto that, so I can get to the underneath storage. And then when I want to make this into a passenger seat, I can put that down, fold it down, and lift the seats up. Long piece of wood is underneath there in the perfect position for that to be flush. So I've just used a chalk to guide me to where this piece of wood's going to be so I can nail it. I'm drilling in the uh, screws for the piano hinge and to keep it in place I've used masking tape. May not be the correct method but this is working quite well. A disaster, the battery went on there. Put the replacement one on and that's a duff battery, it's not working. Ah! 
and I'd nearly finished screwing in the piano hinge. I've used masking tape to secure the hinge in so it doesn't move around while I was screwing it in. That's the exciting bit about putting the bed in. That's my back seat and I built a frame on that side. Here's the bits of wood that I've stained and put a piano hinge. Open it up so it becomes my platform. Let's put that in. Oh, so far, so far, it's looking pretty good. I'll we'll just move that over to the side. Let's open up the boot. And I've got two planks of wood to bridge the gap, which is, I'll right, show you. last, I've done the bed. So I put the piano hinge in. Now I can lift this up, fold it flat. <laughs> Remove those two and then put the passenger seat back up when I need to use it as a car. And then I've got, let's put that down. And on this side, I can lift it up and I've got storage underneath there. All done. Way. Find like uh, points where I could secure the whole frame. But there's only one I could find, which was over here. Over there, it's a bit more, uh, there is no hooky thingies that I can keep that down. I'll have to think about it. And this part, the back end, I can lift up. And then I have my storage underneath there. It's not much, but it's enough to put some stuff in. That's my bed. Complete. The car that I'm making into a weekend camper is a... Citroen Picasso C3. It's small, but it's the perfect fit for me. I've got panoramic sunroof to look at the stars at night, and I built the platform. I can line it. I'm five foot one, and I can fit from head to my toes to the boot. I think anyone taller than me is going to have a problem because this seat does not go back down flat. So my car is a perfect fit for a short ass like me. Oh, it's looking mighty good at the moment. What's the time? It's around about quarter to ten. I have to go to work soon. But I'm going to put my bed in. I think I finally finished. Let's I've have a look. I've got my bed, the uh, foam mattress that I made in. Curtains all done, flooring put in. Uh, just a couple of more things.